She's never even looked at the Grand Prix Special, not having a horse at this level until last night, not even knowing whether she was going to get into it, but with a good percentage in the Grand Prix, she made it in. And Nicole's had a bit of a serious back injury. She doesn't ride young horses anymore. So in Queensland, she's a really... Active judge, who was down here in New South Wales just a couple of weekends ago judging. Extended trot, perhaps could be a little bit more connected, a little bit more together, still. Pretty amazing job to hop on a ride at this level. And I take my hat off for the training that this horse has and for Claire Seidel to produce a horse that is able to be ridden by someone like this with a couple of rides to be able to ride through a Grand Prix special test. It's amazing, especially for a little Pat. So nice for Nicole to do that. Yeah, a good job. And the half pass again, it just, for the better marks, it just needs to show a little bit more collection, a little more roundness, a little bit more throughness and, and, and compression from the back to the front. Again, clear transition to Passage. So this has quite a good, good ability in the Piaf and Passage tour. certainly nailing the transitions doing such a good job and as I said it's an absolute um, credit to Claire to be able to produce a horse that is always along the right way uh, for another rider to step on and, and a Cole being a super rider herself plenty of experience able to pick up the reins and uh, they all speak the same language and away they go so it's a it's an absolute delight to see. A little bit of a discussion about the frame and the collection of the frame in the collector walk and not really a big enough difference from extended to collected. And now the PR whoopsie, a little misunderstanding, but it's fine, she got him back. A little bit too forward. Lack of experience, she should have started the PR for a little bit earlier before the center line. She was over the center line when she began, so it was the mistake about being forward was very obvious. Passage, but really lacks the height to get. Oh, good diagonal steps, huh? Very good. Super Piaf. Good job, Nicole. And Canter, well done. Another pat. Rolex looks like she's having quite a good time here. And that's what it's all about. You know, a horse should always be the happy athlete. It should look like it enjoys it. This could be tricky. He's never been great in changes. Oh, seven. She missed two. <laughs> she got excited that Nicole got quite excited that she'd done the twos. And so did Rolex and just stopped. There's, I'm sure it's not, it is, it's nine twos. And they only did seven, so that's a bit of a shame. But seven very correct ones. But still, it won't be a big mark. Easy half pass. Easy change. I guess if you had to put one word to say what would make it better a little more elasticity a little looser connection a little looser feeling and swing in the paces now this will test Nicole one two three missed another miss and another 
the mess. Not easy, I think. I think of all the movements for a strange ride to hop on a ride is changes, and um, it's a very individual. Ooh, that one came up a bit quick. She didn't really prepare him enough. She wasn't really thinking. I thought she almost looked like she was going to go past the sideline. Wow, that was a good effort. He missed only one behind, and from the front, the judge mightn't even see it. Now, get him back. Woo! Oh, just too free coming in. Still, good effort. Nicole's probably thinking, how am I ever going to learn the freestyle? He's done a really, really good job and what a super, super horse. Early transition to trot, understandable. Great transition in. Maybe travelling a bit forward, but great rhythm, good PR. Little half hot right rein. Come, keep coming. Roll X and whoa, dead square. <laughs> and the final combination from New South Wales. <laughs>